Hey guys, welcome back to this place. And if you are new, welcome here for the very first time. I'm Carmen. I'm Kevin. <laughs> I'm jerk. Today we are watching season three, episode nine of Avatar The Last Airbender. We are almost halfway through season three, the last season. It's kind of crazy. And last episode, Katara <laughs> she <laughs> faced a new kind of challenge within herself and had to learn what she's capable of doing. <laughs> learn These Kirk pauses are getting me. <laughs> <laughs> learn what she is and isn't capable of. And I think it was a great learning experience for her. I think she might be a little bit scarred by it still. But I think that hopefully she can understand that it doesn't make her a bad person, one bad act, you know? And it's not even a bad act, really, I don't think. But anyway. It's an evil power used for good. good reason. Yeah, but then, you know, should we be using evil powers at all, you know? Slippery slope, road to hell and all that. Good intentions. Let's just watch this episode. Black old sun, won't you come? Oh, <gasps> they're so cute! Oh my god, I missed them. You made me miss them. I didn't make you miss them. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just joking. The official rendezvous point for the invasion force. <gasps> oh gosh, we're already here. Four days? The invasion's in four days? Ugh. Oh. <laughs> Whatever. That's like four days from now. Let's just calm down. I wish I could go to sleep like that. I literally can. I know. Why can't you? It's so easy. Just lay down <laughs> with all the lights off. It's not easy. And no phone. <laughs> <laughs> Look how long your hair is. Your days of tyranny are over, Fire Lord. Dream. I'm bringing you down. Really? How do you plan on doing that when you are not even wearing pants? Ah. <laughs> Keep training. Yeah, he needs to sleep too, though. Fresh fruit, Prince Zuko. May I wash your feet, sir? Dude, chill. <laughs> Hot towel. <laughs> like, okay, I'll take that. <laughs> oh gosh, look at all the little fan girls. They're like. <laughs> Suko, Suko. <laughs> Damn. She was so disappointed. I got a lot more skills to refine if I'm gonna fight Ozai. You know, there is such a thing as overtraining. Mm. Oh gosh, his whole body moved like that tree. Well, I still have to work on everything else. I better spend the whole day training. But I understand, like, I would be stressed as hell if I was him too. Like, this is like our last chance before, you know, in a, when they're in a weekend state, at least, you know. <laughs> His pants are like bolted on. <laughs> Your days of tyranny are over, Fire Lord. I'm bringing you down. He's got earrings. And a high collar. Yeah. He's very anime. Are you prepared for your mathematics test? Math test? Oh no! I forgot all about the math test! <laughs> I'm such a, like a normal kid, you know, having a nightmare about not wearing pants and math tests. Oh my god, they're so cute! What? You know what they are? No. The... Koala sheep. That's what I was gonna say. You should have said that. Aang, sleep. Please. 
for me. Yeah, you need to go to sleep. You're looking rough. Sleep with, or sleep with the little koala sheep. They're so comfy, I bet. <laughs> so cute. Do you think you can find the fresh fruit tart for the lady with the rose petals on top? Excellent choice, sir. I guess there are some nice perks that come with being royalty. Though there's annoying stuff, too. Like, like they're all watching the you. War meeting coming up. Oh. War meeting? What are you talking about? Azula mentioned something. I, I assumed you were going, too. I guess I wasn't invited. <laughs> Rise and shine. How was I? You overslept. You missed the invasion. <laughs> Is that a hippo? <laughs> it's, so... it's a hippo griff. <laughs> it's so big. In one of my dreams, you were running from Fire Nation soldiers trying to climb this cliff, but you were too slow and they got you. But that was just a dream. I'm a great climber. Then climb that cliff! Climb it fast! <laughs> Don't drink that! <laughs> Why? Is it poison? In my dream, we were right in the middle of the invasion. And you had to stop to use the bathroom. We died because of your tiny bladder. Oh my god. <laughs> in my dream, your hair got caught in a train and... Hey, I know you're just trying to help. Train. I know. Is he gonna fall again? Oh. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I'm like a big growing snowball of nerves. Of course you are. Really cool. That's because you gotta fight the Fire Lord, <laughs> the baddest man on the planet. And you better win or we're all done for. Sokka, you're not helping. Yeah. It's true. That's the deal. He knows it. Still not helpful to, you know, remind him when he is already so aware. He's laying his head on it. You get right down to business and tell me what's been bothering you. The jealousy I feel. <laughs> you know, wool is really rough before it's processed, right? Not in this world. Look how soft it is. I can tell. I'm supposed to defeat him and save the world. Life does feel that way sometimes, doesn't it? Like we're all trying to save the world from evil. Okay, but what can I do to feel better? Want to try screaming into this pillow? It's so small, it must be a baby one. <laughs> so I guess there's a big war meeting coming up, huh? And apparently I'm not welcome there. What do you mean? Of course you're welcome there. Oh yeah? I guess that's why no one bothered to tell me about it. I'm certain Dad wants you there. You probably just weren't invited because it's so obvious that you're supposed to be there. Well, were you invited? Of course. I'm the princess. Just go to the meeting. Forget it. I'm not going. I think you might should go. It's like a bed of nails, but... Worse? <laughs> that looks horrific, honestly. There's one other thing we can try. Acupuncture. <gasps> oh, it's a... Ah! It looks like a triple. <laughs> you know what will make you feel better? Ordering some servants around. I might be hungry for a whole tray of fruit tarts. <sighs> oh. Picturing horrible things happening to them. Susan's comment. <gasps> oh, that's so cute. He curls up on his tail. Looks like it's time for another therapy session. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to stay awake straight through to the invasion. That seems like a smart idea. What they should do is drug him, force him to sleep. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Or, you know, knock him out. Yeah. Some mild brain damage is worth it, I think. I see everything so clearly now. 
What really matters? Why I'm really doing this? I'm doing it to save the world, but more than that, I'm doing it for the people I love. I'm doing it for you, Katara. Aang, what are you saying? I'm saying... I love you. Is this a dream? This feels like it's not really happening. What are we doing? What our hearts have been telling us to do for a long, long time. Baby, you're my forever girl. <laughs> what? Okay, this has to be a dream. I was just saying you should take a nap. <laughs> oh, I guess I kind of drifted off into a daydream. What was your dream about? Uh, living underwater? Sounds neat. The High Admirals, High Generals, the War Ministers, and the Princess have all arrived. You're the only person missing. My dad wants me at the meeting? The Fire Lord said he would not start until you arrive, sir. I'm sus of it. Hey, I'm trying to build off of some armor here so he doesn't have to go into the invasion naked. Is that what that is? You think you you're untouchable, <laughs> don't you, Mr. Fire Lord? Boy, you are really starting to lose it, kid. Momo, did you hear something? No, but I said something. You, my friend, are just a few plums short of a fruit pie. <laughs> You've been awake too long. And you're acting downright weird. You've got to take care of yourself. <laughs> you can't go on like this. <laughs> what? Look at Be like a big beaver. Yeah. yeah, leave the kid alone. Hey, who asked you? Guys. What? <laughs> I am sick of this guy always mouthing off and telling me what to <laughs> You don't like it? Well, let's go right now. Sokka, what should we do? <laughs> That's ridiculous. About that. some delusions how did it go when i got to the meeting everyone welcomed me my father had saved me a seat he wanted me next to him i was literally at his right hand zuko that's wonderful you must be happy i don't think he is during the meeting i was the perfect prince the son my father wanted but i wasn't me i know Huh? I said I love him so much. <laughs> oh look, another hallucination. An imaginary bed made out of clouds. Hey, it's real. We spent hours working on it. We made it for you. A good night's sleep will probably take the crazy away. <gasps> oh man, big Nanky. <laughs> You're smart, brave, and strong enough. You really think so? We all do. You can do this. You're ready. <sighs> You're the man, Twinkle Toes. <laughs> you know what? I think I am ready. Your days of tyranny are over. <laughs> it is her. You're gonna take me out? You're not even wearing pants. No, Fire Lord Ozai. You're not wearing pants. No! My royal parts are showing! 
Do you say my royal butt buttocks showing or bottom? My royal parts are showing. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> That's the end. <laughs> Lamar Camel. What an interesting episode. <laughs> this was a really fun and funny episode, which is terrifying. Why? Because I know what's coming. I mean, I don't know, but I know <laughs> that Susan's comment, Day of Black Sun, is coming. And they gave us a really happy, fun, you know easy going episode so that's scary why because it means that something horrible is gonna happen i feel as though it means that something horrible is gonna happen because we got cute adorable new animals we got whatever the hell that was with appa and momo you're talking about duel yeah. we got all of ang's you know funny very teenage dreams and we got some cute, like, Mei and Zuko. We did have a moment with Zuko that is more important than funny and fun. But overall, this was, like, a really... I didn't get that. Could you try again? Shut the fuck up, Siri. <laughs> she went away. I know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> overall, this was a... Oh, my God. No. She's... She came back. <laughs> I don't know why she's coming back. You keep looking at your watch. That's why. Overall, this was a really fun and funny episode, which uh, scares me. Okay. What do you think is going to happen then? I don't know, but considering the day of Black Sun is halfway through the season and not at the end of the season that kind of tells me that they're probably what do you mean halfway through the season well we know the season is like 20 something episodes and we're only on episode nine now if the next episode because he was going to sleep and the next day he wakes up is the day of black sun that's going to be episode 10 you so... don't think that they could spend 10 episodes on the invasion and like do like I mean, historically time. speaking, they haven't. Like, when we've had battle episodes in the past, it's been two episodes max. So, I guess they could. Well, the, uh, but... the Northern Water Tribe was three episodes. Was it three? Pretty sure it was three. Well, the one with Zhao and all, and all of that, wasn't that only two episodes? Isn't that the Northern Water Tribe? Maybe it was three, but I thought it was two. But two or three, still, that's I can't significantly less than 11. So, I don't know. My assumption is that something is going to go wrong because we're only halfway through the season and not at the end of the season. If this was, like, going into episode 19, I would feel a lot more secure in what I thought was going to happen. If you were 19, what would you think would happen? That Aang would defeat Ozai and Azula and Zuko would get Iroh and he would help. And then, you know, the end, they all live happily ever after, you know? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Honestly, there's not a lot to analyze in this episode. Aang's dreams are very classic sort of dreams that you have when you're stressed and worried about something. And, I mean, aside from this whole weird <laughs> Appa and Momo <laughs> scenario where they just <laughs> start getting so upset at each other. But um, I think that was more for comedic effect and like hilarity in the episode. And I loved it, don't get me wrong, <laughs> it was really funny. But, like, you know, not having his pants on, and then, um, wait, what else happened? Math test. Yeah, math test. And, you know, just that sort of thing. And then, obviously, him fantasizing about Katara when he was mm -hmm. with Katara. And all of that's very, like, typical teenager kind of 
things. So not really too much to analyze there. I do think that it's funny how at the end, um, when he's finally gonna get a good night's sleep and he like believes that he's prepared enough and everything, he's like, <laughs> he dreams that Ozai doesn't have his pants on cause like, oh no, that would be so embarrassing. Like then he would lose, you know what I mean? It's like such a silly sort of idea that like, that would be your unraveling in such a battle for like the world. It's like, oh, you're not wearing your pants. You just lose because you're so embarrassed, you know? It could happen. Could it? Something I do want to talk about, though, in this episode, because I do think it's worth mentioning, is Zuko and all of his stuff with May, and then also with, like, Azula and him coming from the meeting and saying... I have everything I ever wanted, like literally wrapped up in a freaking bow. Like this is the dream life that I dreamt about for so long. And it's not me, it's not who I am. Like I realize this isn't me, it's not who I wanna be, it's not, you know, what I desire. And I think that's really cool because he's, he's realizing that what Iroh said is true. You know, he's he gets to choose who he is, right? You know what Iroh, like everything Iroh was telling him. And I think that for him, that had to come with the realization that he can have his father's, you know, love and approval or whatever Ozai deems as love and approval, you know, which is very condition, conditionary. Or... Conditional. Yeah. Or he can be fully himself and not be this facade of Prince Zuko that is acceptable to Iroh or to Ozai. And he can just be Prince Zuko and be fully who he is. And that's acceptable to Iroh and to himself. And that's preferable, you know? Yeah. So I think it's really cool that he's sort of realizing that. As much as I wish that he had chosen Iroh back in the fight with Aang and Katara and Azula and everything in the caves mm -hmm. i think that this was very necessary for his character for his growth and for him to come into his own fully as who he is to get the thing that he thought he wanted to and realize it's not actually what he wants anymore you know yeah because i think otherwise he might have always had that question of could I have made my father proud? Could I have been the person he wanted me to meet me to be? Would that have made me happy? And now he knows the answer to that. And it's, I could, I could be that person, but it doesn't make me happy. I could be the person that my dad would be happy with. Yeah. But at the cost of who I actually am. Yeah. And I think that he's realizing, hopefully, that that is not a sacrifice that he's willing to make and... The tides are turning, and he's gonna join Team Avatar. And he's gonna bust Iroh out of prison. Honestly, Day of Black Sun would be the perfect time for Iroh to get busted out of prison. Because, you know, the blue spirit exists. I mean, he did throw away the mask, though, didn't he? But. Yeah, and also there's people who knew or suspected that he was the blue spirit. Yeah, but... Namely Zhao, but... Yeah, he's, he's dead. He's way dead. But he could still break Ira out of prison because he still was trained by, like, a master swordsman. That's, you know... So he could, like... And Iroh could be, like... You know. It is still my ultimate dream for Zuko to turn against uh, Azula and uh, Ozai. I keep almost saying Iroh. That's not my dream. <laughs> my dream is for Zuko and Iroh to join Team Avatar. Join. Join Team Avatar. And... You Florida girl. <laughs> and, you know, fight against Ozai and Azula and win. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's going to happen, you guys. I really do, and it makes me excited, or I'm hopeful. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you said you had a really bad feeling. 
I talked myself out of it. <laughs> I guess you did. <laughs> I <laughs> I have a bad feeling for like the immediate future, but like the far future is like oh. bright, I think. Slash hope. Okay. Like I don't think that they're going to win the battle or the yeah, win the battle on the day of Black Sun. Like Aang and them. I don't think they're gonna win the battle for some reason. I don't know how, but I don't think that they're going to be able to win it. I think there might be casualties. I hope it's not Sokka and Katara's father or um, Bato, the, his friend, right? Mm -hmm. So I hope it's not those people. I don't think it's going to be, you know, one of the main characters. I don't think we're going to lose a main character. Um, I hope not. I don't know. But I just feel like it's going to go poorly. And I'm nervous about it. Yeah. Well, how are you going to find out? I could look it up on the internet, but I might have some spoilers. Looking it up on the internet is spoilers. So. I guess we'll have to watch it then, right? When? But not right now. Uh, not now? Not now. Maybe in like a week on the same day? Yeah. Ah. You can watch us watch it next week right here on this channel. Also, you could watch the next one right now <gasps> with a little bit of spoilery do internet magic. It's on Patreon right now. As well as the entire reaction to this episode and the insanity that exists in it. <laughs> uh, and it is at patreon.com slash Carmen Young. As always, if you want, you can like, comment, and subscribe on this video right here. Let us know what you thought about <laughs> Momo talking, about Appa talking, about the most adorable possibly animals that we've seen thus far. Turtle ducks. Oh my turtle ducks are pretty cute. But these are fluffy. I just feel like they're so fluffy. I feel like they feel like little clouds. Owl cats. I feel like they feel like little clouds. And I want one. <laughs> anyway, sorry for all of the rambling. I hope to see you guys next week for the day of Black Sun. Until then, bye guys. Siri, fuck off.